Hello everyone, welcome to Himalaya Studio. My name is Bosch. So today I'm going to show you guys how I retouch a photo to a sharp black and white effect from start to finish. So the photo I'm going to retouch is the is that I did last week for the muscle man. His name is Nas. He's a body trainer. And just quick show you the final image is here. Four images. One, two, three, four. Okay. So if you like our video and photos, please like us on Facebook. So if you want to know how I build up the lights, you can go on our website over here and click behind and behind the scenes icon here. I will, I will regularly uh, upload some uh, behind the scenes video to our website. And also you can um, find me on YouTube channel, Himalaya Studio. And also uh, for Chinese friends, you can also find me on uh, YouTube, as Sleep Wash. Okay, so um, let's get started. I'm going to uh, select an image from Lightroom. Lightroom 5, I'm using uh, Lightroom 5. So, um, okay, basically this is our uh, original photo. Uh, what I'm going to do first, I'm uh, going to crop this photo because I don't want to see um, this area here. So I'm going to click this icon here, crop to. And make sure you press shift. You can see. What happens if you don't press shift? Because uh, you will get very uh, randomly uh, crop, crop shape. So uh, I don't want, you don't want to see it. Okay, command the uh, for back. Okay, so um, let's crop it. Okay, somewhere around, around here. Maybe a little, little bit. Okay, a little bit. Just a little bit hair. Okay, that's a uh, little bit, little bit. Okay, that's look pretty good to me. And double click. Okay, so uh, now uh, what? Uh, I'm just going to um, make the basic, did uh, do the basic change in Lightroom. So uh, I'm going to make it to black and white effect. So I I will decrease the saturation down, totally down to a minus 100, and also the vibrates down to 100, decrease to a minus 100, and then just add highlight little bit, the highlight, highlight icon here. Okay, 27, not too much, just a little bit. Okay, uh, 28, yep, pretty good. And we are going to add some clarity up to um, 50. Okay, 50, not too strong, but 50, 51, okay. That's look pretty good. And I'm going to press Command, Shift, and E to export the photo in Photoshop. And I will choose to uh, desktop. And make sure your image format is PSD. Resolution 300 and and open in Adobe Photoshop Access. Okay. Export. Okay, so uh, Photoshop opened it for open open already for us. Okay, so um, first step, I'm going to uh, duplicate the background layer. You can press Command G or just Drag, drag the layer to this icon here. Okay, sorry. Yep, just duplicate this layer here. So this layer here is gonna be my um, retouch layer. I'm going to rename it to retouching. I will do all the retouch process in this layer. I just keep the original layer. Okay. So what the first step, I'm going to uh, remove this little line, this line here. So uh, just grab brush tool, press B for brush tool, and if you press option Alt, click the color here, and okay, okay, I'm going to uh, zoom in a little bit, okay, make sure the opacity is hundred percent. 
Okay, we're going to uh, Okay. Zoom out. Okay, you can see a little we need we still need to fix that. The little area here. Press option again. Select the color. Okay, just uh, be careful. Alright, okay. Okay, that's look pretty good. And zoom out. Okay, so uh, Next stop. Next next step. I'm going to uh, retouch on his skin. Okay, so uh, I'm, I like to use the patch tool. Patch tool here and zoom in. Okay, just um, this area here, here, and here. Uh, actually his scan is quite good so we don't need to do too much too much retouching on, on the scan it's uh, really save time. So okay, just uh, maybe just like this. Okay. Oh, little um, this one here. I'm going to retouch it out. Okay, remove it. Yeah, that's pretty good. Looks pretty good. Okay, little area here. Okay, zoom out. So uh, nice. I'm going to uh, liquefy it. So uh, Command Shift X. Oops. Okay. Command Shift X again. Liquify. Okay. So um, this guy here is uh, his body shape is really good. So I don't I don't want to um, too much liquefy on his body. Just maybe just a li little bit. Make uh, make his body center just just a little bit. Okay, not too much. And maybe make his. Uh, arm stronger okay also not too much shoulders shoulders yes okay okay here okay that's pretty good and price okay so uh, again, not too much liquefy because his body shape is really, really good already. So this is before and after, before and after. Just make his shoulder stronger a little bit. Okay, so um, next step, I'm going to uh, using the dodging and burning. This is a really uh, important Photoshop te technique. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So. Uh, Create you know, the new layer and press the selection tool here. Comma A, selection all, and press click, right click, right click. Okay, right click, fill. We're going to fill it 50% gray. And I just keep our opacity to 100% and the mode is normal. And press OK. And then we're going to uh, duplicate this layer again. So command G for duplicate. Okay. So uh, I'm going to uh, make this layer to uh, overlay and this one to soft light. Okay. There's no no different. So I'm going to make this two layer command G group. I'm going to call it highlight and shadow. High H and G, H and S. You can you can rename it to dodging and burning, but I don't know how to spell that. <laughs> so just highlight and the shadow. Okay. Press B for brush. We're going to uh, 
to make the highlight lighter first. So make sure your foreground color is white. Okay, press B for brush. Okay. Okay. Decrease your opacity to um, not too strong, just uh, maybe eight, eight or six, maybe a little higher, seven, okay. So um, I'm going to make his um, highlight area on his body lighter. Okay, um, zoom in a little bit. I'm going to um, the area here. Okay. The highlight area on his chest here. This way can make his um, abs very uh, stronger, really strong. Okay, so um, sorry. here, here. You can see the highlight area is very, very easy to see. Just uh, the bright, bright area. Okay, and make the end and the rear. Okay, so this area here, one click, two click, okay, one, two, oh, sorry. Here, over here. Okay, um, this is this area here. Make sure you always change the size of your brush because you only you only want to um, to make this this area oh sorry too much okay because you don't want to um, put everything um, light like this shadow area so you want to keep the shadow area dark okay so zoom out a little bit again on the um, Area here, this line here, you can you see the highlight, and also here, here, his hand. Normally I do it very slow, but today I'm just uh, just quick show you. So, uh, okay. are we here? Here. Okay, let's zoom out. Have a look. Okay, maybe uh, before and after. Okay, maybe um, in increase the opacity to uh, to ten percent. Again, on his abs. Okay, this area. Okay. Chest. Shoulders. Both sides of the shoulder. Okay. Be careful, this area is already uh, 
losing details, not too much little lose little bit details. So uh, I don't want to uh, make it too too light. Just keep keep this area here. Okay, yeah. This light area over here and on his face. Here. So not too brilliant. Too brilliant. Okay. All right. Zoom out. Okay, that's pretty pretty much. And the S breaker and the rear, the label here. Okay, I go. I'm going to uh, increase the opacity to 25. Okay. 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 Drop down down to nine percent. Okay. This is a uh, before, after, before, after. Okay, so now, now let's do the dark area. Oh, sorry, just uh, again, just quick. The highlight area on his uh, in his, on his underwear. Just uh, just very quickly, very quick. Okay. Highlight here. Okay, just a little bit. Okay, so uh, let's do it on the shadow area. And this time I'm going to change the, the foreground color to totally black, 100% black. And keep the opacity to 9%. Okay, I'm going to, um, this area is already dark, so I just, just feel click, one, two, three, okay, this area here, one, two, okay, the, on the chest, this is the shadow area. So what will happen if you make um, the shadow area darker? is uh, the image will look more uh, 3D look. You will get more uh, 3D look. Um, okay, one, two, three. Okay, uh, area under here. On the apps, very important. Okay. Uh, This land here, one here, shadow here, okay, um, four here, okay. oops, that's too quick, sorry, just uh, going back, yeah. So you can see, he looks more, more stronger, a uh, stronger. Okay. <clears throat> also on his hand and fingers. Okay. Press B for brush. Okay. Area here, the shadow area over here. Here between the fingers, over here, and here. Okay, hand, tattoo. Okay.
Just very quick, quick, quick. Okay, okay, okay. Zoom out a little bit. Okay, his um, arm here. Just one click. Okay, over here, one click. Area here, here, one, two. Here, one click. On his, under his chest. Okay. Now, um, I'm going to increase the opacity uh, to like 25% and in this, in this area make it uh, darker. So uh, one click, just, just feel click. Yep, this looks, we just bring out, bring back more details. Okay, zoom out. Before and after, before and after. Okay, so uh, what we, uh, what I have done here, just close those, these two layers, as you can see. This is what we have done in uh, in these dark and burning layers. Okay, basically, um, this here that the white area is highlight area, and uh, the dark area is our uh, burning. The burning area, uh, the burning area is our uh, dark area. So, uh, okay, let's get the layer back, and okay. So next step, I'm going to. Um, create a channel mixer. This is the way um, to sharp the image because it, it will bring back uh, more details and make it to a soft light. You can use soft light or hard light. But I think in this area, in this situation, I think soft light will be enough. So uh, soft light, I think this is too strong. So. Uh, Decrease the opacity to uh, around maybe uh, 59, 60, 60%. That's look pretty good. But as you can see, we are losing uh, losing details on the shadow area here. So, uh, but that's no problem. Okay, just over over our C is quite good. Okay. Okay, so um, press B for brush again and make the opacity down to 15. And on the shadow area. Okay, and here on his arm. Fingers and the wear. Okay, so okay, that's look pretty good. And then I will create other layers uh, brightness. Make like hundred percent and press command I. Okay. Press B for brush again, and make sure foreground color is white, pure white, okay. And opacity down to 10, 10%. Zoom in a little bit. So, um, here, we make it lighter, okay. Um, Here, just highlight. Okay, be on his app again. Just a little bit, not too much. Okay. Between the chest, okay, on his chest. 
shoulder, maybe、um, make his tattoo lighter. Okay. Cool. That's look pretty, pretty cool. So this is、uh, okay. Okay, and next step, I'm going to、uh, make the background lighter. Just pop up the models from background. So、uh, I will use curves. Okay, so just、um, click here. Basically, just using、um, default. And RGB color, so、uh, this is、uh, the light area. This okay, make it lighter. Okay, not too much, just a little bit. Okay, I think not too, maybe a little bit more. Okay, that's too、um, too strong. Maybe back a little bit. Okay, some somewhere around here, that's、uh, look pretty good. Just keep it here, and maybe shadow. Let's try shadow area, darker. Not too much, just a little bit, just a little bit. Okay,、uh, over here. Okay. You can see, but I think、uh, this area here is too too light, and also on his face. So.、Uh, On this layer mask, I'm going to、uh, using the brush tool and foreground color black. Zoom in.、I'm、going to 100 percent. Okay. You can see the shot. The the. The、um, the detail on his shoulder is back. Okay. Now, the image looks pretty good.、And、maybe just want to make his、um, his body、uh, or this line here lighter. Okay, that's not too much.、Oh, okay. So、uh, command G for group again. This is our、uh, after. So、uh, this is our before, after, before and after. Once again, before and after. Okay.、Uh, so、uh, this is.、Um, Tutorial today. Thank you for watching. See you next time.